So similarly, if you go for D block and F block elements, if you go for D block, if you go for D block elements, take some examples of D block elements. That is, you can take in the if you if you go for D block elements, we have uh, three to four series of elements. That is, three D series, three D series of elements, four D series, four D series, five D series. And 6D series. If you take 3D series elements, if you take 3D, 4D, and 5D series elements, if you take 3D series elements, it starts with scandium, and it ends with the the element zinc. That is 3D series. If you go for 4D series, if you go for 4D series, it starts with the that is yttrium 39. It starts with yttrium 39, and uh, it, en it ends with cadmium 48 then similarly if you take similarly if you are going to take similarly if you are going to take 5d series elements it starts with the lanthanum 57 and it ends with mercury 80 if you go for uh, 6d series elements actinium you have actinium 89 actinium and it is an incompletely 89 actinium and uh, it is an incomplete period this 60 uh, series if you take 60 series it is incomplete if you take 89 actinium and uh, the last element is not known to us so if that is the case if you take scandium if you take scandium and if you take uh, yttrium and uh, if you take lanthanum say for example or you can take scandium and zinc if you take for example scandium atomic number is 21 and here if you write the electronic configuration you can take 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d that means here 21 electrons we are supposed to fill up in the 21 electrons we already we have filled up 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 6 18 18 plus 2 20 so 20 and another one electron we are filling up so the 21st electron is entering into the 21st electron is entering into the 3d orbital so therefore scandium belongs to d block it's a d block element if you go for zinc also the same kind of configuration if you take that is you can take 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 6 3s2 3p 6 4s2 already we have filled up 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 6 18 20 3d 10 so because the 30th electron is entering into the 30th electron of zinc is the differentiating electron and this differentiating electron is entering into the 3d orbital that is why we can take both scandium and zinc both of them they belong to d block if you take so th these are the electronic configurations of the d block elements likewise we can also discuss the electronic configuration of the remaining elements also but in the meantime if you go for the f block elements if you go for f block if you go for f block elements if you go for f block elements that is uh, if you take particularly 5d series 5d series contains 4f orbital and uh, 6d series contains 5f orbital so this 5d series this 5d series after lanthanum after lanthanum if you take in this 5d series after lanthanum in 5d series we have lanthanum 57 lanthanum then 58 is cerium 58 is cerium and uh, from cerium up to 71 lutetium all these elements belongs to f block these elements belongs to these are f block elements and these are called uh, these f block elements 
was 58 to 71 are f block elements uh, we can call them as f block because the f orbital is involved from cerium to 71 lutetium similarly if you go for 6d series if you go for 6d series of elements that is it is starting with the actinium so 89 actinium 89 actinium and uh, here that is 90 thorium 90 thorium to 103 lagrangium so if you take this is also this set of elements also they belong to f block so if uh, for example if you write the electronic configuration of cerium electronic configuration configuration of cerium if you take cerium uh, atomic number is 58 if cerium atomic number is 58 then we can write the nearest noble gas configuration that is generally if you take f block elements general electronic configuration general electronic configuration general electronic configuration of f block elements if you take n minus 2 of f 1 to 14 n minus 1 of d 0 or 1 n s 2 so what i am doing is i want to write the let us write the nearest noble gas configuration for the f block element and let us prove that the last electron of the cerium that is the 58th electron is entering into the n minus 2 f orbital so i'll start the configuration of cerium because cerium is atomic number is 58 it contains 58 electrons so the nearest noble gas configuration for uh, the cerium is i suppose it is xenon because xenon atomic number is 54 if xenon atomic number is 54 then i am going to take here that is uh, because it belongs to this xenon belongs to 5d series so i'll take 6s2 6s2 then 5d1 5d1 if i take 5d1 xenon atomic number 54 so xenon contains 54 electrons 54 plus 2 56 56 plus 1 57 and the last electron that is 58th electron is going to enter into the 4f orbital because the 58th electron 58th electron of cerium is the differentiating electron and that 58th electron because it is entering into n minus 2 of f orbital or the inner orbital f orbital that is why we can definitely say that cerium belongs to f block element likewise you can even write the electronic configuration for the lutetium and you can write the electronic configuration for thorium and you can write the electronic configuration for Lagrangian.